Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today is finally pepper planting day. I have been so patiently waiting for this and I have really held off on planting my pepper plants because I've learned my lesson a couple of times and I have just waited until the chance of frost is definitely past us. It's actually been a little chilly the past week or so. Our lows have dipped back into the 30s, just like the high 30s though. The forecast for the next 10 days is looking really good and we are already in May, so we're like, well past our estimated last frost date. So I think we are safe. Sorry, I'm getting a little distracted because I just noticed this like infestation of ants to the side of me. Let me show it to you. Ugh, look at all of those ants. They're just like running around everywhere because I noticed they were going into this little basket where we keep our gloves. So I kind of like shook it up and now they're going crazy these ants have infested this greenhouse ever since we've moved in and they just keep moving from like one home to another within this greenhouse and it is really terrible they used to be in the raised beds that were in the greenhouse that we got rid of and now they just like take up residence pretty much anywhere they can which is extremely rude they even tried to like make a home inside my seedling trays over here um, and I was not having it. I evicted them from there, but apparently they were trying to find a new home right now. So pretty disturbing. <laughs> so anyway, back to the peppers. I am growing a pretty good selection of peppers this year, as usual, because peppers are one thing that I really enjoy growing, like different varieties of. I think they're so much fun because the differences between different varieties of peppers can be so drastic. Obviously you have like your hot and sweet peppers, but even like within those categories, there are just so many different like flavor profiles and nuances. So I think I have a dozen different varieties of peppers this year. Um, and for most varieties, I'm going to be growing probably like three or four pepper plants of each. I seem to never grow enough peppers for preserving, so I tried to like amp up the number a little bit this year. So I'm going to quickly do a little recap of the varieties that I'm growing. All the plants are right here to the side of me, and I'll show you how the seedlings are looking. But I think I talked about the varieties more in depth when I was starting these seeds in the spring. So I will link that video at the end of this video and also in the description box if you want to check that one out. I believe that one also has photos of the peppers as well that I popped up on the screen so you can see what they're going to look like if you're not familiar with the variety names. So here's my tray of peppers. They're all in these little two inch pots and they're looking really good. This is probably the tallest one. This is the cayenne, but the plants are looking nice and healthy, nice green leaves have not started putting out flowers yet, which is great. So yeah, I'll just go down the line and tell you the variety names. These ones are the Pasilla Bajo, which is like a spicy pepper. Then I have four California Wonder. Here I have a Korean hot pepper. Then I have a bunch of Edgevarsky peppers. I have cayenne peppers here, hot banana peppers, poblano peppers. Then here I have Corbachi shishito peppers i have lots of those and then jalapenos here and then lesia peppers these guys are really cute they're like kind of short and squatty actually i'm noticing i have two pepper plants in here that i didn't thin i guess so i'm gonna so i'm gonna thin out this guy so yeah that's everything i have almost a full tray of them so let me go show you the row that they're gonna go in oh my goodness i just took this bucket of gloves out here and dumped it out Look at those ant eggs. This is my nightmare. This is my literal nightmare. So gross. I swear they can lay this many eggs like every two weeks. Every time we displace them, they just like lay more eggs. Right? Yeah, look at their shadows just oh, dancing around. Oh my goodness. Disgusting. That's so gross. Put your hands in there. It's so gross. I think they're in the gloves. Yes, don't use those gloves for like two weeks. <laughs> Bye. Now get all those. Oh my gosh, get so the window. gross. Hopefully they'll like burn on the glass in the sun. Ugh. So I'm going to be working in this row today for my peppers. Aaron is working on a new secret project. It's not that secret, but we just haven't shared about it yet. Eventually we will. But yeah, I'm gonna be in this row. This is the row where I have my onions in the back over there. And let's take a little looky-loo at these guys. They're doing really good. They've already grown a lot since last time I showed them a couple weeks ago. You can see that they're getting nice and thicker at the base. So I think this row is about 15 feet long. 
So the onions are probably about the back five feet and then I've got around 10 feet to work with here and the beds are approximately three feet wide. And I've already prepped and amended the bed. I did a quick little weed and then topped off with some compost. And I just love in the beginning when you put a fresh layer of compost on because the soil looks so dark and rich and it's so nice. And the only other thing I have going on in here is I did seed some green onions in here in like very early spring or late winter, sometime around then. And they've just started to come up. And originally I had seeded them as just like one row down the middle and I was going to plant the peppers on either side of them. But our chickens had gotten into this row and were like dust bathing. So they kind of like spread <laughs> the onion seeds everywhere and those seeds have now sprouted. So there's like kind of onions here and there, but I'm just gonna work around them and leave them. Since they're going to be green onions, they're not really gonna take up a lot of space and they'll probably only be in here for like another month or so. So I'm just gonna try my best to like work around them and leave them in here. But the plan is that I think I'm gonna do either two or three peppers for the width of the bed. Since it's three feet wide, that means I can space the peppers about a foot apart. I'm going to at least do that for like the smaller varieties like shishitos, maybe jalapenos. And then for the larger varieties like my bell peppers, I'm planning to do uh, just two of them per row. But first I'm gonna just lay out my plants and see what kind of space we're working with and then I can adjust as needed uh, based on how much space I have. And in the very front of the row, our comfrey plant has come up and has already started blooming. It's so pretty. These really nice purple flowers. And this bush really just sprung up in like the last two weeks or so. It just has grown so quickly. Okay, so I laid everything out and the spacing actually worked out really well. I had plenty of space for all my peppers, even though I think I had even a few extra. And I actually even have a little extra space back here. So not sure what I'm gonna put there yet. I was thinking maybe my eggplants, but I have more eggplants than I can fit in this space. So I'll probably just keep them all grouped together somewhere else. But yeah, I'll figure out what to put there later on. And since I've already amended the bed, planting should be pretty easy. I'm just gonna do a little bit of garden tone um, at the bottom of each of these planting holes. And then I'm going to be trying out a new way to support my plants this year. So I'll go over that after I finish planting. Okay, everything is planted, looking really good. I'm gonna water everything in and then probably mulch over the surface. But as I was planting, I was thinking about what to put in this little extra area. And I decided I can pop some flowers into this space, which I think will be really perfect because I'm not doing a cut flower garden this year, at least not in the same capacity, but I did start a bunch of flowers that I wanted to scatter around the garden. So I figure it would be nice just to have a little area dedicated just to flowers as small as it is I think it's gonna bring a lot of nice beauty and color to this space and of course pollinators so here I have some zinnias that I'm going to pop in and then I also have some straw flowers I just have a colorful mix here and then these ones are apricot straw flowers so I think that's actually gonna be perfect because the way I'm going to support my peppers is actually the same way I used to support flowers in the cut flower garden and what I'm going to do is pop in a few tea posts I'm probably gonna do six so I'll do two over here two in the middle and then two at the end and I'm going to be using this floral netting and it's going to lay horizontally the peppers are gonna grow up through it 
and this netting will hold it in place. I'll link where I got this netting from Johnny's, but I'll also try and link it from Amazon and see if I can find it. But it's three feet wide, so it's perfect for this bed. So I'll set it up now and show you what it looks like after. Can you pass me the other posts? Can you reframe it for me? Okay. Not yet, not yet. Still not yet, hold on. I gotta remember how camera works, okay, I gotta... You can turn the thing around. What? Oh my gosh, you don't have to adjust those. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> I'm keeping that in. Oh, it's gonna fall though. It's cr you have to close it. What? Close the thing. Close the thing on the leg. What close? Leg. Oh, oh, that's why. Yeah. Oh, okay, hold on. Well, it's gonna fall though. I think what I gotta do is adjust the camera. Okay. Can you stop recording while you're doing? It's it? done. It's done. It's, it's crooked. What do you mean it's crooked? It. Take a look at it. It's crooked. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. There you go. That's great. I get lucky. Why are you wearing those? It's for the ooh to do. Ooh to So here is the finished pepper row with the support system all set up. So I've set up the netting to be maybe like 8 to 12 inches above the surface. So the idea is that as the peppers grow, they're going to grow through this um, and the netting is kind of going to support them as they grow. 
I have learned that having proper support for peppers is really important. While the plants don't get very large, like maybe tomato plants do, the fruit is very heavy for how big the plant will get. And if you don't have supports, the fruit will snap the stem. I've had this happen to me many times. And once that main stem is snapped, that plant is pretty much gone. So it's really important to make sure that doesn't happen. And in the past, what I've done is I've had like individual stakes for my peppers. I've also tried having them on either side of like a vertical trellis but I am really hopeful that this system is going to work really well because you can set up a really large amount of space for your peppers really quickly and it's also pretty affordable especially because I already had these materials I'm just repurposing them from other uses in my garden if you have a very small number of peppers tomato cages actually work really well for them but I have almost 30 plants here so getting an individual tomato cage for each of these plants is out of the question they're like what seven or eight bucks each and if I had to buy 30 of them that would be not worth it at all. They also take up a lot of space as well. And with this system, I'm able to space the peppers a little bit closer together, which I think they do really well with. 12 to 18 inches is pretty good for most peppers and they don't mind being just like a tiny bit closer together than larger plants do. So yeah, I'm really hoping that this works out well. Um, obviously I will keep you updated as the season goes on and as we do the garden tours you can see how they grow. If they do get really tall and it looks like they need more support higher up, what I'll do is I'll add another layer of netting, another foot up, and that will provide support for the top layer of the plants as well. So that's going to be it for today. I got all the peppers planted as well as some bonus flowers and I'm very excited to see how this space goes for the season. Thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you again in the next one.